Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo, here to do your weekend love messages for March 10th through the 12th. So this is going to be for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Um, if you are new to my channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the readings, please do give the video a like, and if you'd like to subscribe, go for it. I would greatly appreciate that. To everyone who is a returning subscriber or returning visitor, thanks for being here. I'm truly grateful for your support, and hello everybody in the chat. All right, so also real quick, on Sunday, March 12th, 1 p.m. Eastern, I will be doing uh, mini readings for everyone, so go ahead and pop in the chat. Um, it's already uploaded as far as um, premiering, and you are more than welcome to donate a super chat question. All right, Virgo, so let's see what your love messages are here for the weekend. Please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate, but take what fits. You don't have to be a Virgo to watch this channel, okay? All right, let's get into this. So starting on Friday, you do have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. All right, let me see. Take a look at Saturday and then Sunday messages here. Oh, I'm giving them both. And religious factors for Sunday. You also have deception. Uh, I'm sorry, religious factors Saturday. And you also have deception and playfulness on Sunday. Okay, let's get into this and see what's going on here. Okay. So it looks like Virgo on Friday, there is going to be a situation where you may need to kind of humble yourself and ask some friends for some support, support um, and to also accept what is being offered to you, the support. Um, you know, asking for support is the first part of it and then accepting it is the second part. Um, accepting support from others takes humility because it causes you to humble yourself even more and say hey I can't do this by myself I, I really do need your help and so Virgo um, you know Virgo well, wherever Virgo is a placement in your chart you have a tendency to definitely want to take things on your own and you may sometimes say to yourself you know I don't need any help I can do this I can figure this out um, I feel like the benefit and the beauty of asking for help is that there are other people who can give you a different angle, one that you may not have thought about. It doesn't mean that you have to act on the advice that's been given, but it helps to get a well-rounded objective view of what it is that you are trying to overcome or um, deal with on this weekend, especially. Okay, so let's see what other messages you have here. There you go. You've got the sun. So this is a positive energy here. You also have the queen of wands. <laughs> and you also have the nine of cups here. So Virgo, you know, um, I feel like if you take that moment to be vulnerable or open yourself up to asking someone to help you with something, you're going to have a very positive outcome with that. Okay, I see that right here. Um, your confidence will return. Your um, your feel good moments will return because that Nine of Cups does give a sense of um, having some wishes come true, um, being in abundance, and also being in better health. Okay, you may not be in a position right now where you are feeling so great about something, um, maybe in regards to a relationship, whether that's romantic, uh, a friendship, a sibling, a work relationship, whatever type of relationship you are having some struggle with right now. Um, I feel like you really, uh, Spirit is saying here to kind of just come out of your comfort zone a little bit and seek some support, seek some help, ask for some help. I do want to uh, clarify the sun 
here. Um, for some of you, a good friend may be uh, a fire sign who could help you. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Or it could be in regards to a fire sign. Okay. Let me take a look and see. What is the sun? Okay. Yeah, you're at a crossroad here, Virgo. Definitely with the two of wands in reverse. So, you know, there's a lot of confusion. Um, maybe some plans or things are falling apart or there's an energy of being locked into a particular thought process and not being, it's kind of like small box thinking um, or inside the box thinking um, or thinking small, not really being sure. And that's why I feel like there's some something here that you will learn over the weekend from um, someone else or other people where I, I get a sense that things will open up for you with the sun. That's exposure. Um, so the overall message there for the weekend, Virgo, is it's time to stop trying to figure it all out on your own and uh, to, to really open yourself up, come out of that comfort zone and, and say to somebody, you know, I think I need help. I think I think I need your help. It, it's not asking for someone to solve your problems. That's not anyone's responsibility. That's yours. But sometimes you hit um, a roadblock. And I feel like you might be through going through that right now where you're hitting a roadblock. You don't know which way to go. And you don't know how to get past this roadblock. Um, that Three of Pentacles is always... This is like kind of learning. This is learning. This is learning something new. And I feel like you will learn something new either about another person or about yourself. Some of you could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Um, and this is learning how to make your wishes come true, how to arrive to that place of complete happiness and contentment, you know, um, which would be the Ten of Cups, which would be the fulfillment of your wishes and your dreams, okay? So Virgo, Friday is definitely looking like... Um, a time for you to um, learn some new stuff. And, and I feel like it's not book learning, uh, self-help learning, um, things like that. This feels more like asking your friends or people, oh, sorry, there's a sign. I don't know if you can hear that ringing. Ask your friends or people who are close to you to give you kind of like a summary of, of who they think you are and if they know your person or the other party, what they think about that situation and, and what their advice would be. Okay, it's always good to ask. It's always helpful to ask for advice, right? Um, but you have to also be willing to make a decision to accept some advice or a decision to not make uh, accept advice. It's up to you, right? It, even if you decide not to decide, that's still a decision, okay? So Friday definitely an energy of kind of humbling yourself a bit and um you know i like to say that the strongest person in the world is the one who is the softest it takes a lot of strength to be soft and vulnerable so that's that now let's take a look at saturday you've got religious factors here religious factors is always for me an obstacle your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, okay? And I always feel like Saturday there may be a recognition where there's an obstacle between beliefs between you and another person, okay? One person, you might have opposites or there's obstacles. One person is this particular way and you might be another particular way. And um, your belief system, their belief system, um, creates blocks between you and them okay so something about that coming up on saturday a recognition you could be of different faiths different religious backgrounds you could have um, different socioeconomic positions you could be of different race you could be um, um whatever your opposites are i feel and you might know about that all right, so you're starting with the Knight, the Knight of Swords here. Let's see. Now you have the Queen of Cups. 
<clears throat> and you have the Ten of Wands. All right. So Virgo. Knight of, Wand Knight of Swords, sorry, it's a very assertive energy, and it's all about a lifestyle change. The Queen of Cups can be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the Ten of Wands, for me in my readings, um, always represents the end of a struggle. Okay, so I'm not sure if there's a consideration by you or another person. It could be a water sign, um, or it could be you in the energy of the Queen of Cups where there is this nurturing, healing, supportive energy. Whichever it plays out or however it plays out. Um, oh, and let me just say real quick before I go dive into that. On Friday, that Queen of Wands could be also someone, like I said, that you are connecting with or that you uh, or whom is significant to you in your life. Also learning about how to be more open and more expressive with their thoughts and their feelings and learning how to be in a relationship, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be you. They could be also asking their friends and people close to them from support for support about how to make um, their own personal wishes in a relationship come true, make something happen. Okay, so back to Saturday. Yeah, I feel like someone here is coming to the end. The struggle, the burden was that Two people or one person was not able to or is not able to or even see that there needed to be some type of a lifestyle change and whatever that means, it could be somebody, a particular way they're living um, that is not conducive to having a, creating a bond in a in an emotional relationship, okay? So I see there's an assertiveness happening on Saturday to really make change in regards to how another person, how they're living, okay? So, you know, like I said, there's a lot of different obstacles and I feel like there's an energy of someone here either needing or desiring to make a change to come into alignment with another person, okay? Um, for some of you with the Knight of Swords, that is sometimes a travel card. So there could be an, ob uh, an obstacle of distance. Um, I, and I feel like they're giving me the phrase closing the gap. Very important, um, especially if there is a long distance relationship that needs to um, come to a place of closing the gap and getting closer, whether that's in the physical sense or whether there's distance in communication, needing to open up and talk more, or whether there's distance in emotional availability and needing to um, be more expressive with emotions. And so I feel like Saturday, I'm seeing movement here in regards to these obstacles, in regards to conquering these obstacles, overcoming them, and not being aggressive But being deliberate in their assertion of making this change happen, I feel like either you or this person is really like the, trying, like the burden has been too much to carry on a relationship and trying to make something work while they, while there is a huge wall in between you and that person. Okay. And it's time to. I feel here on Saturday, the energy comes out where it's like time to break down those walls, all right? That 10 of wands is always a message to me where it's the end of that struggle. It's the end of that burden. Um, the very thing that a person was trying to push towards, um, they were unable to break down that wall. They kept putting more and more of a heavy burden on themselves. And I feel like this person for some is or are putting an end to that here and either rushing back or coming back to break the obstacles, okay? So that the water can flow, right? We've got a big dam here. A big dam. Look at this Queen of Cups. All the emotions and all the feels are deep down within, but there's a lid on it. 
And this person is looking at all of their emotions and their feelings, and it looks like her hand is getting ready to rise and remove that lid and open that Pandora's box of emotions and feelings and to be able to express um, in the process for sure on the weekend, especially on Saturday. Okay, so let's move on to Sunday, Virgo. Deception and playfulness. So there is an energy here of um, someone wearing a false mask or a false self mask in this relationship. And to recapture romance, allow the inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel like there is a person who masks. I don't know that it's deception to harm. It feels more like deception to not be revealed in regards to a feeling. Um, there could be fear behind it, for sure, okay? So when I'm picking up, this is double Aquarius here, so there could be somebody who has uh, is just very strong Aquarius energy in their chart. You know, with that Two of Cups, I feel like, and the Fool, there is someone here who is going to on Sunday, um, take a risk. This feels like a risk, okay? To remove a mask, mostly how I feel, to heal. You know, that star card energy is always, for me, a card of vulnerability. And the reason I say that, and I'll probably get monet uh, demonetized for this, and yeah, somebody told me that I should put bikinis on my uh, nudies here. <laughs> But so I'm not going to show you up close, but I will tell you that um, to be naked and to be vulnerable, not, well, it could be absolutely physical and to be comfortable with that, but to take that risk to um, expose themselves, okay? And Virgo, um, and to come into union, to come into alignment and to meet halfway, um, there is definitely a romantic partnership here. That caduceus always represents healing, uh, love potions, medicine <laughs> for some. But I, I definitely get a sense here that there is a message here for uh, one of you here that I feel like there might have been or there may be somebody who wears a mask and perhaps plays around a lot um, or does a lot of player activity or player energy and it feels to me like this person is um, actually wanting to come into union with you okay definitely wanting to come into union with you and remove that mask and to be vulnerable to take that risk here to have a new start and a new beginning so Sunday uh, you know the whole weekend really looks like someone is making a decision here to overcome these obstacles and the burdens that may they may have placed upon the relationship um, and to heal it. All right, we've got the Five of Swords in the reverse here. So I feel like there may have been somebody that you connected with who uh, might not have been a very kind person. Um, this is someone wanting to bring peace and possibly apologize and uh, because that five of that five of swords in the upright can represent someone who is or was um, not nice with their words not kind with the things they said to you not someone who um, could have been just been very sharp-tongued or um, their responses and communication or the way they thought about you was you know, um, cruel, and it, it feels like that's changing with that reverse five of swords. It feels like um, it could be something in regards to a fair fight or peace after trouble um, or being called out for negative behavior and wanting to do better and wanting to be better and wanting to bring healing and hope and renewal. Okay, um, this two of cups does make me feel like two people coming into agreement and not only one person saying, you know, I didn't treat you very well, but another person saying, you know what, and my response to you for that 
I didn't treat you very well either. So there's fresh new hope. There is an energy of fresh new hope. And um, this weekend just really looks fantastic for that. I, I feel like there's some change happening here. Uh, let me just get a clarifying card for the fool. I just want to take a look at this fool. Who is this fool? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Ace of Cups. All right, Virgo. Wanting to have a new start here. Definitely. The, the gift being given. The potential here for having a brand new love in your life, for sure. Um, for others of you, this may be... Um, your energy where there is forgiveness and healing in regards to a relationship um, and for some of you putting the past behind you and making a connection with someone on Sunday um, where there's a brand new start and and there's hopefulness coming back into your life again um, where you realize that uh, you deserve love and that you are good enough. Um, you getting that inner clarity and, you know, having your faith again. It can also be an energy for some of you where um, a miracle. There's a miracle for some of you on Sunday. Well, whether that's somebody new coming in or, or the gift of faith comes in for you and you begin to realize that you can have what you want you know this is a very this is a very emotional spiritual <laughs> reading I feel and uh, I know some of you um, may not want to um, have something like this to hear and that's okay it's not for everyone let me get a couple of um, messages of love to see what other messages there are here for you over the weekend I also have a little surprise message that I'm going to upload on Friday, a very personal message that I want to share with all of you. So I hope that you will tune in and listen. Um, I'm not sure who it's going to be that will need to hear this message on Friday, but it is very personal and um, I will be premiering that on Friday at 10.30 p.m. So do, if you can, listen to it, okay? All right, messages of love. Okay, intuition. You already know the answer that you seek. Virgo, it feels to me like um, you asking your friends for help or um, asking for some advice or some clarity is really just um, clarification for what you already know to be true you may just be struggling with trusting your intuition or trusting yourself in regards to a particular situation that you have right now in your life okay there you go there's an apology coming virgo over the weekend or a realization of an apology it may not actually be delivered over the weekend but there is someone here i feel and it could be you as well where there's forgiveness and that really feels like that ace of cups energy as well because for me that ace of cups always it doesn't always mean like a new baby or relationship or proposal or marriage it is a gift of healing and forgiveness here with the cup runneth over and even with the communion wafer it's for a lot of you and the dove of peace for a lot of you this is having that um healing to come in okay uh, some of you just might be going back to church <laughs> on Sunday for the first time. Um, or, or going for the first time. So, you know, congratulations to you. It's It takes a lot of humility to be able to do something like that. A lot of people, um, you know, maybe switching a religion as well. Integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Okay, Virgo, that's the Two of Cups. We're talking about alignment here. Um, if you get an apology for someone um, from someone, whether you want it or not, if it comes in over the weekend, um, there may be a question that you could be asking yourself is, um, is this 
apology going to lead to healing and is it something that I really want and not in regards to your emotions but in regards to your values and your morals okay and I feel like that's coming up this weekend which seems to be more important for some of you over the weekend versus how you feel about another person um you may love someone very deeply, but the question you might be asking yourself is, are we compatible morally? Um, do we value the same things? Okay, whether that's somebody new or someone coming in with an apology for you. Uh, let me see what else you've got. Okay, patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing, Virgo. So, you know, <laughs> trust the process, Virgo. Don't rush things. Um and as I always say, and I will close with this, what's meant for you, Virgo, will never pass you by. And there isn't anything you could do to destroy that. What's meant for you will not pass you by. So trust in that, Virgo. All right, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Do tune in tomorrow, Friday, on March 10th for the premiere of a very special personal message I have for all of you. Um, and also on Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if you want to get a mini reading, one card pull. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Love you very much. I will see you very soon.